back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds. Today, we're back on this Ford Escape 2013. We got a parts car, so we're gonna remove the engine and transmission from the parts car and just put in this. Even though the, the motor is bad in this, we're just gonna swap over the motor and the transmission since it's 78,000 miles on the, the one that we bought from IAA. So let's talk in, let's hop into it. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Hey, and check out our website to support the merch. Let's go. So we pushed it all the way from here. See, we got the S5 over there. We're gonna get to that video soon. Now let's focus back on the Ford. So we've got the car where we need where we need it to be. Now we're about to jack the car up, remove the two front wheels, and after that, we'll see what else we could do and just start getting this car on its way. So we just removed the front bumper. We just had to take um, three bolts from right here, one, two, three, and on the other side. And then we just have to disconnect this. But let's keep going. Now we're gonna remove the headlight. So you got one right here one right here and when you take the bumper off you have another one that's right here and that should help you, you take the headlight out so we just removed the radiator and all of that off the front we took out some of the freon the freon has dye in it that's why it looks green but now we pretty much don't really have much holding on. We have the two, the one engine mount in the back and the, the engine mount over here holding up everything. We just have this right here just to hold it up. But next, we're just gonna basically pull this bolt out and then remove this. So we're just gonna drop the engine and the transmission all at once and do it to both sides so we could get that done. Let's keep going. All right, now turn it, Tur turn the whole thing. No, sir.
So now we have the engine completely removed. So what kind of took us some time, we had to loosen one bolt right here for the, the, the engine mount, the mount, and then two bolts right here. And then as you can see, we loosened this one. And these are all the hoses and wires, and this is the gear selector for the transmission. We made sure to, to take off. So that was like one of the things that was holding it. And this, this hose, there was a hose there right here. That was the other one that was holding it. So now, the next thing we need to do is start pulling down that one. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's episode on We Rebuilds. As you can see, we got a lot of stuff there. We finally got to remove the engine and the transmission all at once. So we did have to move some of the suspension pieces, the axle, 
so we could um so we can get that out of the way so we could just take out everything together. So now we're gonna just pop those axles. We're gonna use these axles back on the other car. Only thing we're just taking the engine and transmission out. So hopefully it shouldn't be too hard because we kind of finally know what we need to do and all these wires. But like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. If you want a sneak peek, just check out our Instagram page. Check out our Twitter page. Hey, and to support the channel, just copy yourself some merch on WeRebuilds.com. But we got to clean up. So until next time, stay positive, stay motivated.